In this example, we're asked uh, if an ideal centrifugal air compressor takes in air at one bar, 15 degrees Celsius, and compresses reversibly and adiabatically to a pressure of four bar, calculate the delivery temperature of the gas. If kinetic and potential energy changes are negligible, calculate the specific work transfer in the compression process. And we're told to take um, the specific heat capacity of air at constant pressure to be 1.005 kilojoules per kilogram degrees Kelvin, and the ratio of specific heats to be 1.4. Okay, so here's our uh, compressor. And we're told that the pressure to start is one bar, and the temperature is 15 degrees Celsius. So 15 degrees Celsius is basically 188 degrees Kelvin. And we're told that the pressure at the output here is four bar. Okay, so it's an adiabatic um, process. And we have derived an equation for that. So if I plug in the values, we can see here it's the pressure is pressure ratios. It's four bar divided by one bar. So the units actually cancel out. So it doesn't matter what the units are. So they can be kilopascals, newtons per meter squared, uh, it, it doesn't matter, because one cancels out the other, so it just becomes a ratio. So I cross multiply both sides by 288, and when I put that into my type, I get 427.9, uh, which is 427 .9. Probably round that up to 428. So that's the first part of the question. We've calculated the delivery temperature to gas. We are now asked in the second part to calculate the uh, spe specific work. So for uh, an open system, Use the steady state uh, energy equation. And in the compressor, we're not burning fuel in here, so we're not adding in any heat. And we're told that the kinetic and potential changes are negligible. So that's the kinetic, that's the potential. So they disappear. And we're not given the mass flow there, so we have to get the specific uh, work. So that's the amount of work done per kilogram. Okay, so we represent that by small q and small relativity. Okay, so there's no heat, so that's zero. We neglect these two guys. We neglect those, and we're left uh, with, with this uh, equation. So the change in enthalpy is Cp times T2 minus T1. I plug in the values. I have um, 1005 uh, kilojoules per kilogram. The temperature of the output was 427.9, so I just rounded that up to 428, minus 288. And when I multiply that all out, I get 140.7 